Hey guys, Hannah Lippitz with the Geula Vision, Geula Key Concept Series, and we are talking about Mashiach now. What is Mashiach? Mashiach is a central soul. Mashiach is like the engine, the heart, the most massive, powerful, nuclear core collective soul of which we are all fragments. So Mashiach, the person, the, the external manifestation, is a person who has the dimension of collective soul, not just of the Jewish people, but actually of all mankind, called the, called the Yechida, the highest, deepest, formerly most concealed aspect of our own self, of our own soul. This person is an external manifestation of, of the deepest, most intimate parts of our own soul. They are the ultimate neshama klalis, and, it's, and it is through them that all of the deepest secrets of the Torah, that the highest essential godly energies that we can't even describe as energies, like the essence of God flows through out to the rest of us. Now, they're not an intermediary in the way we would normally think of one. The Mashiach, the same way our, our heart, the heart which pumps the blood, the life force to the rest of the pieces of the rest of the parts of the body, is not an intermediary between, you know, the blood and the rest of the body. It's not an intermediary between the life force, but it's from whence the life force then becomes distributed to the rest of the body. And the job of Mashiach is to nurture our consciousness. The job of Mashiach is to broadcast these levels of reality to each one of us to nurture our das, to nurture our consciousness. And we do this by having a spiritually intimate connection with Mashiach. Now, if you watch the videos above, which um, I hope you did, because this is a serious thing. This isn't just something where it's like, oh, these are cute ideas. Like, this is reality, guys. This is a serious thing. We, we know that the Lubavitcher Rebbe fits the criteria for this. This is why everybody who came to the Rebbe, whether they were Jewish or not Jewish, felt this connection, the, this immediate connection and rapport with him. Everybody says that when the Rebbe looked at you, even if there were thousands of other people waiting in line behind you to see him or in the room with you, you felt like there was nobody but you in the room because you were coming into contact with the deepest part of your own soul. There was an immediate familiarity. The Mashiach is like the ultimate soulmate of all souls. And so when we connect to the teachings of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, which is a foretaste of the total revelations of the Geula, our consciousness gets nurtured. We get put into contact with the deepest parts and powers of our own soul. And when we do that, that makes it easier to recognize Mashiach outside of us. But the job of Mashiach, as Rabbi Yitzhak Ginsburg states, and this is the best description I've heard of Mashiach so far, is, is as an agent of evolution to usher humankind into their next evolutionary leap from just imagining that we're just plain human beings, just, you know, these meat suits, um, into our evolutionary leap into our true identity as godly beings. And Mashiach is the one who nurtures our consciousness and who ushers us through that leap. So it's by connecting deeply to the Hasidus, to the energy, the very in which is the very soul of the Lubavitcher Rebbe, especially in the in especially and uniquely in the Devar Malchus, the talks and teachings that he gave us in 1991 and 1992. When we plug into that energy, it reveals within us our own hidden powers, and we're able then to look at the Rebbe and, and sense our own deepest self in him, sense how he is the Mashiach, he is the Redeemer, and, and ultimately to grow up into our own godly power and become who God intended us to be. And it's through the Mashiach distributing that energy, nurturing our consciousness, and if you, if you learn the mimer, the atetetzave. That's exactly what the Rebbe is talking about. The nurturance that comes from the Moses of the generation of the Mashiach. 
through in, from taking what normally we can only sense with Amuna, which is our ability to sense to sense realities without being able to see them or grasp them, just have Amuna that they're there, and take the state of being, the realities that once I could only sense with my Amuna, and it turns into my Das, into my baseline integrated lived conscious experience. That is through the power of Mashiach, that's through the power of the Rebbe. And when we connect deeply to the Dvar Malchus, to his teachings, and we have Bittel, we deal with our cognitive dissonance around the things that he's saying, we face our own self, our own shadows, our own darkness around and within these things, we are brought into Geula by the Redeemer, by this collective soul.